In today's video, I'm going to be working on an iPad. After opening up the iPad, I was able to connect the new display and get image, but we had no touch. I'm going to show you some of the things that I had to do to fix the touch. Let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is pull off these Cumulus IC chips. You control the touch and we've got an issue there. Accidentally bumps those capacitors. Carefully add some uh, low melts to these pads to make them easier to wick. You might notice there on the right cumulus was we're missing a pad. That's something that I'm it's probably one of the main causes of this issue. I need to address that. Here in ZXW, let's take a look. This resistor is also, doesn't have good contact. We need to replace that, but this is my main concern as of now. As you can see, the trace goes just barely off of that, and the only other place it goes is straight under the CPU. So there are no components between this point and the CPU. You can see I can just toggle back and forth just straight across. Um, so yeah, I definitely need to make that connection. Now here on the back, there is a test point that I could tie into if needed, but hopefully I can just use that little leg that sticks off that pad and fix it. This capacitor as well is not making good contact with its pads. I can tell just looking at it, I'll need to replace that. Um, but I should be able to reball the cumulus ICs and reuse them, uh, even though they were fairly corroded. Yeah, definitely need to replace this resistor. You can see it connects the chips together. Yep, need to fix that. I'm going to carefully scrape away the trace. I've got a little bit of it left. It's very small, but I should be able to use it. I'm going to wick away and clean off all the pads here. Clean it up with some isopropyl alcohol. Add some flux and try to tin that little trace there. Get a little bit on there and now I can uh, go and add a little ball of solder. There we go, I get it to stick to it. Now I just need to run a jumper. So I'm going to apply uh, some UV mask and try to get a pad to stick there. Played around with this one for a while and it finally got a good solid connection um, by adding a little bit of uh, solder paste and carefully soldering the end of that um, new pad uh, down to the trace. We'll clean that up, add some UV mass to protect that joint and keep it in one place. After curing it, scraping away anything on the pads, we should be good to go. A nice clean flat pads here should accept a new IC really easily. Now in the process, I did end up shifting a couple of those capacitors over, so I will need to correct for that. So let's go ahead and try to fix those uh, between now and the end of the repair. But I'm going to add some flux, get my newly balled uh, chips carefully put them in place and solder them down. That one looks good. Let's do the top one. Line that up. Let's heat it up and get it to move into place. Add some more flux. There it goes. See it snap into place. It'll look good from the side. Now these connectors definitely got some heat. I'm gonna go ahead and pull those off and replace them. This one probably didn't need to replace it. But I'm gonna try to save, I don't have any of these on hand, but I'm gonna try to save one from another board. That's a new flux. And this one's a little bit better. I'm gonna use it. I do have some do have another one that the, for the longer one here we 
go. Put that down. Let's solder that in place. And there we go. Looks good from both sides. Let's clean it up and let's test it. Connect our new display and digitizer. And let's see if we now have touch. Let's turn it on. Testing the digitizer without the display being perfectly aligned is always interesting because you kind of have to guess where you're touching on the screen, but I'm going to try to get that screen somewhat aligned. We can take a look there. Move that up a little bit more. And get it somewhat more aligned so we can be a little more accurate. Let's do the ultimate test, which is to try to turn it off. But in the process, I'll just drag my finger all the way around the digitizer from corner to corner, making sure it never jumps or leaves my uh, leaves my touch. And it looks good. It's all fixed. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like it if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you in the next video.